Hey everybody, it's Kerry McElroy. It's almost five o'clock. It's Tuesday. You know the drill, right? Total body strength. Hey, I've only got two more classes to go, so before we transition to Y uh, Cloud. So right now we're still in Y Without Walls. You can jump in, complimentary, and um, you know we hope you've enjoyed it over this last almost year. It'll be a year in May that we've been doing these Facebook Lives. So um, we hope that you'll join us at the YMCA um, South Coast in any of the branches. You've got six branches to choose from. Five have wellness centers, I believe. I don't think Mattapoisett does. Um, it's everywhere from Wareham to, to Swansea. So we've got um, New Bedford, you've got Dartmouth, you've got Fall River, and again, Swansea. So um, hey, Mel, what's going on? So again, we hope you'll join us um, with your membership to the Y. And anyone who's part of this Why Without Walls will get, uh, hey, uh, Robert, um, anyone who's part of um, uh, the YMCA South Coast will get Y Cloud, okay? And anyone who's part of this Why Without Walls will be offered um, some great specials to join the Y. Now, what happens if you live outside of uh, the realm of, you know, our, our six South Coast Ys? I know I have some clients who are watching from up Norton Way in Attleboro. Um, you know, Join a Y up there somewhere. We hope that, you know, and maybe that Y will offer some type of Y cloud too. So um, some type of virtual programming. So hi, Jeannie. We'd love, you know, it's just such a great thing to join Ys anywhere. I know there's a Y. I think there's a Y in Foxborough. Um, you know, to join a Y, you, you know, your dollars that, that, that you pay for membership of the Y just go to all kinds of great things. You know, unlike a, a retail club, not that there's anything wrong with retail clubs, uh, but, you know, they just go to, to helping uh, families and kids, programming, swimming, um, you know, basketball, soccer, outdoor camps, um, you know, and, and all kinds of things. So um, we hope that, you know, you'll, you'll join a Y somewhere if for some reason you live far away and are not in our YMC South Coast um, kind of, you know, radius area. So, but don't forget, join, uh, you know, our South Coast and you get Ys from Wareham to Swansea. So, um, hi, Bridge. So anyway, hi, Jeannie. How are you? So again, this is my last of two. I've got this week and I've got next week. So I've got a couple more minutes here to go. So about three more minutes. So what am I going to do today? Bands and balls. Okay, so we've got resistance balls and some type. Actually, it's actually tubes. I'm lying to you. But bands and balls sound better than tubes and, and balls. So anyway, so if you have a tube at home of some type, this is a, just a little uh, tube I bought um, called Ignite. I think I got it at Target. Bridge, right? I think you're with me when we bought it, right? Um, at any rate, uh, and then I also have a resistance ball. Most people have a resistance ball at home, so I hope that you'll use that. Now, what happens if you don't have a tube um, or a, a resistance ball at home? That's fine. We'll use dumbbells. We'll use plates, whatever it is that you normally use. So um, we'll get started. We'll give you all kinds of options, okay? But I just thought I wanted to show you, for those of you at home and, you know, who are going to stay with us for Y Cloud, um, you can work out with just about anything. I'm here in my living room, you know, it's nice and bright. Took a little walk a few minutes ago when I got home from uh, school. And honestly, this tube was like, I don't even think it was 20 bucks at Target. Um, and this, this ball is a little bit more, hey, excuse me. I got a little fluffy dog under my feet. This ball uh, is actually a ballast ball made by Bozu, the Bozu, the company, um, which makes the, you know, the, the domes, the blue domes that we use um, for all our training. Um, the, the balance domes. Um, so that's a little bit, it's got sand in it, so that's a little bit more expensive, it's probably like 50 bucks. But you know most of you can get a job lot or Target or any, you know, Dick Sports, whatever, you can probably get a nice um, resistance ball for anywhere from like 15 bucks to, you know, 30 bucks, and, you know, depending on what size you want. They come in several different sizes. 45 centimeters, which is a really, you know, really small person, probably someone under five feet, and there may be some people out there that are that size. Uh, and then like, you know, 5'1", five, 5'2", five, to like 5'7", or most people can use a 55 centimeter, so you can check the, what your ball um, is. And then, you know, some, we've got some gentlemen and ladies, I'm sure, who are, you know, like 5'8", and over into the 6 foot range, which will use a 65 centimeter. So, um, again, make sure you have the right ball. Make sure it's blown up enough, too. So, um, you know, if you don't have the right amount of, um, of air in it, it's, you know, as you saw back about a few months ago when I was losing air on one of my old uh, resistance balls, it's not safe, okay? So make sure it's blown up so that you can just kind of you know, press into it just a little bit, you know, it's going to have a little bit of give, so, oh, hi, Bernie's, Bernie, Bernie's like talking to me through another platform, Bernie, what's going on, why can't you get on Facebook anymore, <laughs> anyway, all right, so, we're ready to start, we've got four blocks of work, we've got squats, we've got chest, I'm just going to go back and forth between the tube and the ball, so if you have dumbbells, 
Um, you know, make sure you have them by your sides. You could be on the floor instead of on the ball. I'm just going to add the ball if you can, just for a little extra balance, because we'll get some core in along with chest. Um, I'm going to show you a back extension with the ball. That's probably one of the few things that you won't be able to do without a ball, but you could always do an, an up dog um, from a mat, okay, if you, and I'll show you that option too. Um, so back extensions, Jeannie, like we did on that back extension machine Saturday morning, we're going to do the ball today, okay? Wow, I feel like I'm getting... Um, I'm kind of in the sun here. I'm sorry, gang, my glasses are like shading, but all right. So anyway, let's grab a tube. Make sure that you have some water and, um, you know, as always, a little bit of a towel. Excuse me. I have a little uh, furry friend right underneath me here, as always. <laughs> at, least, at least he's feeling better, right? All right, so you've got to be right underfoot. Um, so I'm going to um, tap both of my. Let me just put this down so you can see me a little bit better. I'm going to tap both feet, okay, onto the tube, all right, and then open my heels just a little bit. So this is going to be a kind of narrow squat. But if that's too much and that creates too much resistance with your tube, okay, for your squat, okay, it's going to be a close, a close-footed squat with just maybe a fist between both both feet, you're going to feel that really in the hips quite a bit, okay, a little bit more than the outer, the outer quad sweep, so you're going to feel that in the, the glutes a little bit. If that's too much and you have a really heavy tube, you can do one foot, okay, and open up just a little bit here, you can do one foot, that's fine, so you're just creating a little resistance on the way up, okay, with that foot, so let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get 15, we're going to do, I'm going to keep this quick today, okay, so same principles hold true with a squat, make sure you're scooting that butt behind you, okay, really sitting back to the chair that's not there, and you're creating some resistance with this tube, what if you don't have a tube that's going to be about 15, well, grab a plate, grab a dumbbell, whatever you normally have, right, okay, so there's our 15, now, I'm going to go to dumbbells for my flies on this ball, okay, let's see if I'm going to just adjust this a little bit so you can see me, I'm going to take my regular flies, and we're going to use this ball as a bench, okay? So I'm going to sit, and again, where you sit is key, okay? So we sit on the top of the ball, roll forward onto the, the, the low back a little bit, and we're actually going to, I'm moving your bed, okay? I'm moving your bed, you. We're going to bring you onto the, the mid-back a little bit here, because we're going to do a fly. So you're going to be probably a little lower on the ball than you normally would, okay? So again, I've got my feet with my heels right underneath my knee, you can't see that, okay? But you're gonna, we're gonna come, I'm a little bit lower on the ball than I would normally be, so I'm kind of on my mid-back a little bit. I wanna be sitting up just a little bit. I wanna keep my neck nice and neutral, okay? I'm not leaning back like this. I'm not, you know, plugging up. Just keep my neck right in line with my, my spine, okay? And we're gonna open for a nice fly, okay? I'll move around a little bit so you guys can see me. So what's happening here? Not only are we getting our flies right across the nipple line, right across the chest, but we're also um, really engaging the lower muscles a little bit. We're engaging the glutes because we're hanging onto an uneven surface. We're also, of course, engaging from the core, the side um, ab muscles, okay, the upper ab muscles, and actually the lower ab muscles. Okay, beautiful. So we did that. Let's come on down. Let's grab our tube again. Now, you don't even need a tube if you don't want to. You can just do a regular squat. Okay, I'm going to step back so you can see me a little bit, so you can see my feet, okay? I'm going to do the double-footed one now, okay? So I'm coming down, pushing up, coming down, pushing up. You're losing my head a little bit. That's okay. I want you to see my feet this time, okay? So again, if that's too much, you can go to one foot. So it's going to be a little bit, if you want to go wider, that's fine, but you're going to create more resistance in the upper body here. You're going to feel that in the glutes. Turn to the side so you can see me, okay? Here we go, sitting back. Sitting back, I want you to see my feet here, okay? Scoot and drive up to the heels. So all the principles for a good squat come into play. Why is this a little bit tougher than, beautiful. Why is this a little bit tougher than just using your body weight? Well, once again, you're creating resistance, right? Okay, let's come to the, I'm gonna come to the side here so you can see me just a little. Can you, oh my God. Why do you have to be right in the way all the time? Move it, move it. Hey. Jeannie, this dog, he's something, okay? Hey, while I've got your attention, lots of, man, people are signing up for weight training for women. I start, not in a few weeks, it's not for a while. We don't start till May 1st, Saturday, May 1st, May Day. Um, so we've got about five folks signed up already. So if you're interested in my weight training for women program, um, we'll be running at the Swansea branch 
um, this time around. So, um, you know, uh, jump in, call Swansea. If you know your, your home branch is another branch, that's fine. You can still call. If your home branch is not a member of one of our South Coast um, wise, you can still join me. There's a, there's a um, participant price and a, and a, um, a non-member price, or in other words, a member price and a participant price. Okay. All right. So let's go back. I want you to be able to see me here. If you want more information on weight training for women, just let me know. Can you guys see me good? So I want you to see my heels right underneath my knees. I'm rolling forward a little bit. Here I am. I'm opening for a fly. Okay. So again, I want you to keep your head up. I'm trying to give you an angle so you can see me a little bit differently here. Okay. So I'm a little bit lower on the ball, opening nice and wide. Again, right across, making sure that, you know, I'm on kind of my, my um, just about lower back, but a little bit more toward the lower shoulder blades, okay? Make sure that your head is right in line with the spine, nice and wide, nice and wide. So not only are we getting chest, but we're getting all kinds of other muscles to engage. Now, what if you just have a ball? Here's another option, okay? So you can hang on to the ball and give me a squat and push forward, okay? So you wanna do that a little bit, if that's a little bit easier, okay? Now, especially if you have a ball like I do that's got sand in it, so it's a little bit heavier. This is, you can hear the sand. This ball is not your average one. This is a, here we go. It's a little bit wider opening up top. So just push forward, just a little bit nice healthy bend in your arms so you don't wanna hurt the back. But that push forward gives you a little bit more of lower back engagement and glute engagement, okay? Ooh, I need sunglasses here in my living room. Push. So a little bit wider now with my feet. Or you can stay with your tube, that's fine. And just holding the ball as I push forward, guess what that engages? Obliques, okay? So holding forward. Hey, we got six people. Say hi. I just, oh good, just got signed up, Jeannie. Good, yeah, you're like the sixth person already. So I know it's filling in. I didn't expect such, you know, high numbers in the spring. Sometimes people get, you know, doing things on a Saturday, you know, but man, it's a, uh, <laughs> Jen Hader put a post out today and it's, uh, it's crazy. So, so I'm excited. We always, white well, training for is always a part, you know, it's a, always a lot of fun. It's a nice program. So, you know, thanks so much to all of you out there who've done it before. I've got some uh, regulars that are coming back that I've seen before. So like Jess and, and uh, Liz Miller, that's nice. All right, come on back down. And again, make sure that you've got, you've got your heel right underneath your knee. Can you guys see me from the, yeah, that angle. Okay, beautiful. So again, I'm anchoring on my low back, maybe lower shoulder blades a little bit. This is not easy, right? If you like you're going forward, I'm anchored up against my couch right here too. So, you know, you can anchor up against the wall with your toes, okay? Perfectly fine. Boom. Ooh. Nice. Okay. All right, beautiful. So there's round one. Okay. Let's take a quick, take a quick uh, dry off if you want to. Grab some water. And we've got back pulls with our band and ball crunches. So we're going to stay in the same same uh, option, uh, same um, band ball alternation. Okay. All right. Oh, so the kids are coming back to school on mass next week. I'm a little bit nervous, gonna be honest. We'll be okay, but if you have kids at home that are going. I mean, I've been in school four days, so it's not gonna change my, my life all that much. We're adding the fifth day. But you know, at the end of the year to have, you know, now classes of 25 and we had classes of 11 or, you know, even eight or so has been, might, you know, we're mashing all the cohorts together. I'm a little bit nervous, I must say. So Carrie DeLimos, how are you? You joining me, Carol? I hope you'll join me a little bit here. We're going to back pulls now. So I'm going to set my feet pretty much in the same, uh, the, the same way I have the squats, except I'm going to add a little bit more of the tube this time. So I'm going to, you know, open them up a little bit, okay, so I can really, really make some resistance on this tube, okay? So now I'm probably two fist widths apart but with my feet, okay? So now I'm going to bend forward and pull up. Now, if you feel like that's not enough, Okay, you can kind of almost, you kind of like double up the, the tube a little bit, okay, if you want to. No, it's not going to work, let's see. Let's just see if I can double it. There we go. 
No. It's not going to work either. Let's just go, you can just go a little bit wider. That's fine. A little bit wider is going to work. So the, the more of the tube you get, okay, clearly the, you know, the, the less length you're going to have here. So it's going to be a little bit tougher, right? So we're here and we bend forward and we pull. Now I want you to bend forward. Let's say I want you to see me bending forward here. Okay. I've got this, this tube's a little long for me, but okay. So again, we've done this with dumbbells and you can certainly do this with dumbbells if you want, if you don't have a tube. So we're bending forward at the waist and the knees and driving our elbows toward the ceiling, okay? But we're not going to stand and do that because that's shoulders. We want to bend forward and feel kind of the lat area engaging, okay? Beautiful. Now you could do this with a onesie too. You could kind of double it up a little bit a la, a la Dawn uh, and all the, the Vive instructors, right? You could double it up with one and do one, a one pull, right? So look, I've got both hands on the tube and I've really uh, popped my foot. Let's see if I can do it here so you can see me. I really popped my foot onto quite a bit of the tube and we can do doubles. Let's try that too if that makes it a little bit easier, okay? Pull. So it's like kind of like starting a lawnmower. Okay, let's get to the other side. So lots of options with these bands, okay? And again, this makes it a little bit tougher. Woo, left-handed. Not so easy, right? Okay, make sure your hips are facing me with the camera. Don't be turned or you're going to hurt your low back when you do this. You want to keep your hips and your shoulders facing me as you drive up with that elbow. Okay, just, you're going to feel the low back engage a little bit, but you really want to work the mid back. Okay, you feeling that, Jeannie? <laughs> All right, I'm going to crunches. Everyone's favorite, right? So never easy. So we're going to stay sitting on the top of the ball and again, don't try to, you know, move the ball under you. Just walk it forward. Walk it forward. You're going to be fine. I promise me. You're okay. So just slowly heel your toes, heel toe forward, okay, until you get to your low back, okay? And again, you're going to have, you can't see me, but my heels are underneath my, my knees, and we come on up, okay? So you, you've got to find, depending on your height, you've got to find that, um, that balance position where you're not so far down below and your, your legs aren't so far out that the ball's going to sail behind you, but also you don't want to be too high either or you're going to hurt your low back. You're going to jam your pelvis down and, and hurt your low back. So you want to be able to have your heels underneath your knees and just be on the kind of the upper edge of your glute a little bit, right, as we come up, okay? And just lift up. You don't have to lift up and push the ball forward, okay? That's not necessary. Just lift up, okay? Tuck the chin just slightly, looking straight forward, and really feel the upper abs engage, okay? Try to keep the elbows nice and wide. You can see me shaking a little bit. It's not easy, right? Okay. Boom. That's going to be about 15, okay? Maybe it was more, but I was chatting through half of it. All right, so we've got, you've got, if you want to, I'm going to switch to dumbbells for that back pull again, if you'd like to. That's fine. These are my traditional back pulls, so if you've got dumbbells at home, you don't have the tube, Here's your dumbbell back pull, okay? Giving you lots of options today, okay? So we bend forward if you want to, and you feel like you don't have heavy dumbbells, you can, I'm gonna double my dumbbells here and pull, okay? So now I've got a 20. I usually do this with like 40. So that feels pretty good, right? So again, it's imperative that you keep your hips and your shoulders toward me and pull and pull. So you can do like 10 on each side, that's fine, okay? Or 15 if you're doing doubles. Beautiful. How are we doing for time? Good. Nice. And again, I've got one hand on a quad. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Giving you a little bit of, of balance. Okay. Coming back. Let me show you my feet a little bit here. Right. So here we are. We can get over here. I'm going to start right here. So my feet end up, you can see them. So we, we roll. Okay. And here I am. So I've got to find that sweet spot. Okay. Where I feel like I'm in control of the ball. Okay, I'm not going to go flying off it. So we just sit up and crunch up. Boom. Okay, you're really going to feel the upper abs just a little bit here. Somebody had a po Oh, Chris, Chris Rizza. Shout out to Chris Rizza, our former membership director in Fall River, who had the most incredible Facebook post today about, you know, uh, just loving yourself, loving your body, loving, you know, who, hey Dawn, how are you? Um, loving yourself of who you are today, not who you want to be, you know, and when you take 30 pounds off or even five pounds or not who you were when, you know, 
you were running marathons 10 years ago. It's who you are today. Um, you know, and I think that was just such a great, great post. If I could find it, I'll, I'll repost it here, right in, in this, um, this feed, okay? All right, let's come back. We're going to get, again, it's bands and balls. So let's come here. I'm going to do my doubles again. All right, bending forward and pulling. Okay, so whether I've got a band or I've got weights, I'm going to keep moving, okay? Then I'm going to do singles because that's a little bit tougher for me. Okay, we're coming here. Now I've got one foot behind me on this because that because I think it's just easier for me. Um, I feel like I need to be more in a lunge position for this um, when I've got the tube. It just gives me a little bit more of an anchor. Um, but again, my hips and my chest are you know still squared to you. That's the key. We bend forward, we reach back with that elbow. And again, if you want to put a put a hand on your hips, that's fine. Let's go to the other side. Hey, we've got this workout and one more workout after this, and then that's it. I hope some of you will join us at the Y South Coast. Any branch you can. We've got some nice specials going on. You'll get our new Y Cloud as part of your membership, an added benefit. Okay. And we hope that, you know, we're just so thankful for all of you that have been part of this for so long, um, for almost a year, and have been watching faithfully. I know Bob and Jeannie and... Uh, Tammy Martins, I don't know if Tammy's even out there. Um, we've got quite a few people out there. I know I'm missing people. Um, that, you know, just been watching forever, watching all the classes. We saw all the instructors from across all the six branches. Really appreciate that. Um, you know, as we've evolved and tried so hard to, to be there for you during COVID. Um, when, when we weren't in some of the branches, many of the, all the branches weren't even open. And then there's some got open and then some had outbreaks and <laughs> we closed down and <laughs> went back open again. Um, so again, thank you so much. So if for some reason you are outside of our Y branch um, range or sphere, we hope that you know you'll join a YMCA close to you somewhere. And again, make you know the the, the um, donation, uh, make the membership fees that you pay every month. You know your um, donations to so many different great causes that all the Y support across the United States. So so thank you so much. Um, I know I've got my brother and you know some folks who watch from like literally California. So, all right, last set of crunches. Thank you so much for for all of your support, and we hope that you know we've given you something that uh, you can take away with you, even if you're not able to join, you know our YMCA South Coast. Know that we love you anyway. <laughs> <Ugh. Woo! laughs> okay, we're going to round three. Oh, biceps and triceps. So I'm just going to grab some quick water and we're going to keep moving. Grab some quick water. I've got biceps with tubes. Mm. And triceps you can do with tubes too, but I think uh, triceps I'm going to do on the ball. Okay, so biceps pretty simple. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to keep our, our feet nice and close this time. And just bicep up. Okay, so again, where your feet are, I might be able to go a little bit wider because that was pretty easy. Um, it, you know, it depends on the resistance that you want to create for yourself. Okay, you can do doubles. Let's do doubles. Okay, doubles. Palms, palms toward your um, shoulders, right? Toward your chest. And if, and if you have, for some reason, have a tube that's too heavy and you can't even do that, just do a onesie, right? Just do one foot. Okay, so that will kind of release some of the tension. Okay, boom, and you can do halves, right? Ah, it's tough. Good. Hey, it's such a nice, nice night out there. I took a nice walk before I got here. I got home, I was doing a little laundry. Okay, I'm gonna go to the ball and I'm gonna do some tricep extensions. So, this one is gonna be, not, you could do a couple things here, okay? So let me actually bring this down just a little bit so you can see me. So you got a couple things you can do. You can sit on the top of the ball, and you, you want to kind of get low on the ball, okay? So get a little low. Make sure the ball's not going to pop out behind you. And you can do overheads, okay? If you feel like you're not... But I don't want to see. Let me show you the side, okay? Just don't do this, okay? If, you know, if you, see how my neck's forward? If, if that's too much for you, don't do it, okay? So you can always do... I tell clients, you can always do the doubles, okay? If that makes it a little bit easier. Try to keep the elbows nice and close. So we're sitting and doing our extensions. Now, if that's too much for you, you can always come back to, let me show you here. We're gonna roll forward just like we did for chest, and you can extensions here, okay, as if you're on a bench. This is not an easy one. You're really gonna feel this in the ass, so this one's a tough one. But again, get low, okay? You're probably gonna get 
even lower than you were for chest. So kind of get, you're almost off your glutes. Your glutes are almost off the ball. And it's really kind of mid-back now, okay? Then we'll come scoop back up. All right, so there's your option. Let's continue going. Biceps, triceps. That was a tough one, huh? <laughs> For those who did that with me. All right, now again, you've always got the option. If you don't wanna, you don't have a tube, you can always, you've always got the option of doing your plates, okay? You know, you, you've got all kinds of options. You know, I got all kinds of tricks in the bag, right? Okay, turn them up. So whatever you wanna do today, I just tried to show you some, some extra different things. I don't know if you guys can actually save these workouts because this, this site will be, someone had, um, Corin I think asked, this site will be dismantled and you will not be able to um, get to it to see the old videos, but you may be able to save them. Um, I have some saved, so on my camera, on my phone, of course I made them, so you may be able to, you know, kind of scroll through and, you know, if you're not able to, you're not in that, the, the range of our whys, um, you can, whoops, I need those. Um, you can possibly, you might be able to save some of these videos, you know, some that you really like. And, uh, you know, do a few times every once in a while, right? Um, you know, take heart in the fact that there are just tons of things online too. Um, you know, YouTube videos, if some of you just aren't able to get to the Y, you're just still not comfortable going out anywhere, which that's a lot of people. I'm already vaccinated, I'm feeling pretty good. And, um, you know, we're still gonna be careful, but at any rate, okay, so get low. Get low, wow, this is tough. Bam, okay, look at right by my ears, okay. Let's see if I can do it this way so you can see me. Let me come up, give you a different angle here, okay. Here it is. So I'm low, okay, I'm really low. Look at my elbows, I'm low on the ball. Now I'm actually anchoring myself to the couch with my toes. So my elbows are right in front of my eyes. I'm just bending at the elbow, zinging these by my ears and straight up, okay. So there's your triceps. Somebody talking to me? Let's see. What do we got? Oh, there's Bernie. Oh, we missed you at coffee. You know what? You guys just killed me, really. <laughs> Bernie O. You've heard of Jackie O? This is Bernie O, okay? The professional, professional coffee talkers, okay? <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah. I'm not even gonna say anything to you, Bernie, okay? Because now you, now you say I aggravate. You're just trying to aggravate me, okay? You know I love you, Bruce. You know I love you. Raina, what's going on? Yes, watch the replay. Yep, so I'm doing bicep curls. And again, you don't need, if you're watching this, you know, after the fact, you don't need tubes. You can stay with dumbbells. I'm just trying to give you something different. Some people don't have dumbbells at home, although I have to tell you, I went to uh, Target over the weekend in Seekonk. I believe I was in Seekonk. They have so much stuff. They have foam rollers that are way less expensive than they are online. Foam rollers are like 60 bucks. They have it for like 30. Um, the real dense ones too. Um, they had resistance balls. They had dumbbells. I know I have, speaking of Jess and Liz Miller, um, for almost all of COVID, Jess was trying to get 12 pound dumbbells. They had 25s, 10s, 12s. Hi Kay. Um, so lots of things. So to, uh, Target and Seekonk if, if you are in this area. So. Uh, all right, last set, my friends, last set. I'm gonna do a, we're gonna go overhead, okay? So we're here, right overhead, okay? Actually, I'm gonna use doubles. Doubles! So crazy, crazy triceps, crazy! Boom, let's sit on the very edge of the ball, okay? Keep the elbows tight. So again, a little, another option here. Gina, you enjoying this? <laughs> oh, nice. All right, beautiful. So, I think that was the last set. We've got our last, now we've got three things to do, okay? So the last uh, block of work is gonna be three things to do. We've got band side raises, rear delts on the ball, and back extensions on the ball, okay? So I'll show you some options. I'm just gonna grab some water, and off we go. Mm. I didn't promise you 30 minutes today. I did say 30 to 40, and I'm doing okay. It's only 5.25, so we've got plenty of time, okay? If for some reason it's not working for you, you have to leave, you have to have supper or what have you, that's okay, you can come back and watch me later, okay? And leave me a comment, okay? Leave me a comment, let me know what you think, you know, any thoughts, any you know, last minute thoughts. And again, I do appreciate so much, all of us, the instructors, there's probably 
I don't know, 20 or 30 between the, the various different um, six branches of our South Coast YMCA's. Um, you know, we, we just we just love it. You know, we love it when you watch us and we love it when you leave us comments. So thanks so much. All right, so here is the tube. Now this one may be difficult if you have a really um, you know, uh, thick tube, and this is a this is a medium one. I didn't get the heavy one. So if you want, I mean, obviously if you have um, dumbbells, you can do side raises. I'm gonna set my feet really, really close, okay? Because I don't want to use a lot of this tube because this is gonna be tough. So my feet are like to big toes together, and side raises, okay? Now if this is too much, let me face you this way so you can see me, okay? See me? There we go. Okay, my dog's nervous that I'm singing. <laughs> this is most of the neighborhood and my windows open. So I am here, okay, and just kind of look at, now you're not going to get too high with this. You're really going to feel the, the heads right here. If that's too much, switch to a single, right? That might be easier, right? Just a single foot, okay, single, single. All right, now we're going to do rear delts. Bridget, when I get home, I had to go back because I forgot something. Well, I finally got my hot dog for lunch. That's nice, Bernie. Way to talk about hot dogs on the, on the workout session. That's <laughs> Bernie, oh, you really kill me, honestly. Bernie, I love you. I really do. You are, Bernie asked me, I don't know, a couple months ago, she said, do I remind you of your mother? I said, yes, you do. You remind me of a combination of my mother and my grandfather, okay? <laughs> oh, you really do, Bernie, and that's, that's a compliment, okay? Um, I miss them both dearly. So the next one we're going to do is going to be rear delts on the ball but if you don't have a ball then you're going to either keep your we did rear delts last week you're either going to keep your band or you're going to use dumbbells so this time we're going to bend forward and rear delt okay so we're going to bend forward and bring our elbows first so we're, we got to bend forward so you're feeling the rear of the shoulder or you could also have here it is again you bend forward Rear delts, we've done this one a million times with dumbbells, right? Those are the side view, elbows, okay? So do whatever you'd like. Or I'm going to give you a way to use the ball as kind of a, a bench, all right? So let me, let me do it this way. So you're going to be on your ball. Now you really need to get kind of on the hips a little bit. So this is the, the new exercise today. So we're going to use the ball as, but you want to keep your knees on the ground and your best to really keep your feet, the soles of your feet, you can see them up against something, okay? So you want to try to get up against a wall here somewhere. I'm up against my couch. So you want to get your hips onto the ball and the, the soles of your feet onto something to, to kind of keep you um, grounded and up you're going to come, okay? This is not easy, folks, okay? Can you guys see me? Yeah, okay. So rear delts, okay? So you want to anchor yourself up against a wall and also be on your hips, a little bit and lower tummy okay now the back extension is going to be pretty much that same as a neat one right okay see you Saturday for coffee bye burn oh look at Pat Taylor's out here too glad to hear you got your hot dogs <laughs> that's nice okay two people talking on hot dogs on my YMC exercise video that's nice okay both of you anyway so back extensions are going to be very similar so you're going to anchor yourself in a very similar way so Jeannie, if you're still out there, remember we were on that big metal piece where you leaned over and then came back up? I'm creating that same back extension um, from a ball, okay? So what does it look like if you don't have a ball? It's just going to simply be a cobra, baby cobra, maybe an up dog, okay? So you're going to start with your, um, you're going to start here. Can you guys see me? Let me bring my bring this down just a little bit more so you can see me once I preview it all we'll just keep going through it okay so just bear with me while I preview it all so you can see so we're here you're gonna have your toenails down on the floor don't curl your feet up okay you're gonna have your toenails down on the floor so it's here okay you can see me you can't see my feet but there's no way to get the video so you can see everything hands right by your sides palms are underneath your shoulders and we're gonna lift up okay so that, that would be a nice back extension or a baby cobra, okay? Or, you know, some of you can get up dog and get up a little higher, okay? Some of you might want to do lotus pose. That's a good back extension on the ground. Or, here's something great too. You can use your ball. So again, we're going to anchor our um, soles of our feet up against the couch. We're going to get our hips on the ball, okay? And we're just going to roll forward and up. 
okay? So I'm gonna crunch forward, Jeannie, just like you did, and push into the ball of my hips and up, okay? Again, roll forward, push with my hips into the ball and up. So you should try to anchor the soles of your feet up against something like the wall, okay? So again, this is a nice back extension, got it? All right, beautiful. So uh, let's do that one more time. We'll do one more round. I'm gonna use my dumbbells. Again, to show you, we've got three rounds, side raises, rear delts, and back extensions. So here we are, side raises. I'm just gonna use dumbbells. You can stay with your tubes again if you'd like. Here's the side view. So again, just leading, making sure that your hands are right, your hand with the weight is underneath the shoulder base. It's not way up here, it's right here, okay? So really feel that medial head engage, okay? Boom. And again, nice and tall, nice and tall. And lastly, we can do rear delts. So we wanna bend, roll the shoulders up, back and down, bend forward, lead with the elbows, lead with the elbows. Just kind of looking straight ahead a little bit. Keep your uh, head, your neck right in line with the spine, nice long spine, okay? We wanna round the spine. So we wanna kind of a nice long spine, okay? And lastly, we're gonna come back to the ball. And you can do that rear delt on the ball if you'd like. Here we go. I'm going to anchor my feet and my hips on the ball, okay? And I'm going to do the rear delt here. Really feel that. Lead with the elbows. And again, make sure that you've got a nice long spine, okay? Don't hurt yourself. Lastly, let's do the back extension. So roll and stretch a little bit if you want to. I'm going to stretch back into a child's pose with this ball. Good. And I noticed that there's, there's cookie crumbs all over the floor from this one. Dog cookies, not my cookies. I don't eat cookies. That's a lie. I do eat cookies, but I don't, <laughs> I don't eat a lot of cookies. I, I actually love cookies, but... And you should, too. Cookies are great. There's nothing wrong with cookies, but you just have to monitor how many you eat, right? Okay? All right, that's my quote for the day. Cookies are great, okay? But just monitor. All right, so make sure that you've got the soles of your feet up against something, your hips on the ball, and which we're rolling forward and then up, okay? Push the hips into the ball. So it's almost like, so roll forward and round the back, then push the hips into the ball and up, okay? And again, let's get a couple more. Now there's no need to do 15 here if you don't wanna do 15. You're just, what are you working here? You're working your low back, your glutes, right? And a little bit of hamstrings, depending on how, how, you know, uh, how strong you are and how much of an angle you have, how much of your hips you have on the ball, okay? So again, here, one more time. So we're rounding forward and pushing up. You might feel the, the upper hamstrings just a little bit. And come on up. Gang, thank you so much. It is just about 5.35 by my clock. So let's do a little bit of stretching here. I'm gonna stay on the ground. And again, I like to have one foot forward. Don't curl the toes, toe nails to the floor. Push forward just a little bit. Lift up if you'd like. Stretch. Robert, thanks so much. Yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed that. You have been such a, you and Jeannie and Tammy Martins. I don't see Tammy out here today. Some of you have really watched and, you know, just been so, let's get the other side, pushing forward. Reach up. If you want to, grab the elbows a little bit. If, the, if that, if you can't, or open. If you want to open, get to goal posts and really kind of stretch the back a little bit. Yeah, so, you know, some of you have been, I'm going to put one foot in front, work on hamstrings. So I've got a heel forward here. You guys can see me. There we go. If you want to, you can touch the toe, feel the hamstring stretch. Um, you know, thank you so much for watching us. It's just been, it really has been a pleasure to do this. Um, you know, we do get, get paid by the Y to do these classes, but I really honestly mean it. I would have done it for free. It was just, um, you know, we're at home. It's not really, really that hard. It's been wonderful. Um, it's been nice to connect with folks that, you know, I haven't seen members from other clubs that I've worked at and owned over the years that maybe live outside the sphere of, you know, our South Coast Y. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's stretch our shoulders. I've got one more class, so I'll put it up on Facebook and remind you next week. I'm just getting my shoulders in. One more class, and then again, it'll be the transition to the Why Without Walls. So we hope that um, we hope that you'll join us um, and be part of our, our YMCA South Coast. If not, we wish you all well, and uh, 
you know, don't be afraid to text me uh, or, you know, leave me messages here if you have any questions or anything I can answer for you. Um, and, you know, and don't forget weight training for women on Saturdays. And I think I may run one on Tuesdays, two Tuesday evenings, if that works for people. That Saturday one seems to be filling in quickly. Um, Jen Hader was nice enough to, uh, you know, share that post. And, and she's also got a uh, quarantine uh, 15 challenge. So um, that's going on too, I believe on Saturdays and Wednesday nights. So if you're interested in doing a weight loss challenge, Jen Hader's got that going on in the Swansea branch. So um, I thank her so much for, for plugging all the, the things we're doing. So, all right, listen, have a great week. I love you all truly. And uh, we'll miss many of you um, when we, when we break this site down, but thank you so much for being here. We've got one more week together. Okay. I'll see you next week. Take care.